Welcome everybody, I'm Adam. And in this problem, we're going to be looking at, given the conditions of sine u equal to negative 3 fifths, where u is some angle between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi, we're going to find the exact values of sine of 2u, cosine 2u, and tangent of 2u. So before we get started, let's take a look at those. We know that the sine of 2u is equal to 2 times the sine of u times cosine u. Cosine of 2u, which actually has three separate variations, but looking at what we're given, since we're given the sine of u, I think the easiest one to implement would be cosine of 2u equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared u. And we have the tangent of 2u is equal to 2 tangent u divided by 1 minus tangent squared of u. Okay, now where do we go from here? Well, looking at all of these formulas, it looks like separate from what we're given, which is sine of u, the other things that we need are cosine u and tangent of u. So how can we do that? Well, we've done problems in the past, similar to looking at what we're given, where we have the sine of some angle and the location of where that angle is, we found the other remaining trig functions. So here, with sine of u equal to negative 3 fifths, where u is between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi, or namely, that tells us that u is in quadrant 4, we can find the remaining functions cosine u and tangent u. So let's start by taking a look at our xy plane. And so we have our angle u in the fourth quadrant. So here's our angle u. Now, <clears throat> what we want to find is cosine u and tangent u. We've done things like this before. So how we've worked with this before is we have the angle u in the fourth quadrant. What we can do is look at the reference angle, namely the acute angle up to the x-axis, and now just consider this right triangular figure and use our right triangle trigonometry. So taking what we know here, that sine of u equal to negative 3 over 5. Namely, that tells us that the sine of u prime, our reference angle, is opposite over hypotenuse. And our right triangle would be 3 and 5, which, of course, sine of u would be 3 over 5, but negative because we know sine of u is going to be negative in the fourth quadrant. But we're looking at u prime. So what we're interested in finding, then, is Let's start with cosine of u. So cosine of u, looking at u prime namely, is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have the hypotenuse 5, but we just need our adjacent leg here. So the adjacent can be found using the Pythagorean theorem with our right triangular figure as the square root of the hypotenuse squared, say 5 squared minus the square of the remaining side, minus 3 squared. So square root of 25 squared minus 3 squared, sorry, 5 squared minus 3 squared, or 25 minus 9, gives us the square root of 16, or 4. So the cosine of u is our adjacent over hypotenuse equal to 4 fifths. And we know that's positive because cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. And the last thing we need is tangent of u. Well, tangent, looking again at our u prime, is opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be 3 over 4. But tangent of u, considering that, tangent is going to be negative in the fourth quadrant. So negative 3 over 4. OK, so now we have our sine, cosine, and tangent. And now we can put them up into our formulas up here to find sine of 2u, cosine 2u, and tangent of 2u. 
So let's take a look at that. So let's start with sine of 2u, which is 2 sine u times cosine u. So this is equal to 2 times sine of u is negative 3 fifths times cosine u, or 4 fifths. So multiplying this out, we're going to have negative 25 is our denominator. 2 times 3 times 4 is 24. So negative 24 20 fifths. And then next, let's take a look at our cosine 2u, which we're taking as 1 minus 2 sine squared u. So 1 minus 2 times sine squared. Our sine is negative 3 fifths. quantity squared. So taking a look, squaring the negative 3 fifths, squaring the negative is going to become positive, and so 3 fifths is going to be 9 20 fifths. Okay. 2 times 9 20 fifths is going to give us 18 20 fifths, and so 1 minus 18 20 fifths, or 25 over 25 minus 18 20 fifths is equal to a positive 7 20 fifths. And so last but not least, we'll take a look at our tangent. So tangent of 2u is equal to 2 tangent u divided by 1 minus tangent squared u. So 2 times tangent u, or negative 3 fourths, divided by 1 minus negative 3 fourths quantity squared. OK, and we're going to simplify this. So our numerator, 2 times negative 3 fourths, well, first let's simplify. 2 will cancel in with our 4 to give us 2, so we have a negative 3 halves, and our denominator, 1 minus negative 3 fourths squared, the negative will become positive, so 1 minus 9 sixteenths. Okay. And noting 1 minus 9 sixteenths, we'll take that as 16 over 16 minus 9 sixteenths. So this will simplify to negative 3 halves on top, and positive 7 sixteenths in our denominator. So we have a fraction divided by a fraction, and we're going to invert and multiply. So our 7 sixteenths will come upstairs and be multiplied with negative 3 halves as 16 over 7. And we notice we can cancel the 2 with our 16 to get an 8. So last but not least, we get negative 3 times 8, or 24 divided by 7. So there we have it. We have sine of 2u is equal to negative 24 20 fifths. Cosine of 2u is equal to positive 7 25 fifths. And tangent of 2u is negative 24 sevenths. Thank you very much.